to all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about skincare. Uh, it's a really rainy day, so I'm a little bit uh, chilly in the house. I'm in my home car day and I don't want to get out of from this uh, cozy clothes. So let's talk about skincare. It's actually one of my favorite um, subjects to talk about. Well, my skincare regime, uh, I kind of uh, simplified it uh, in comparison to the previous years and I find it more effective for me. I don't believe in a lot of products, I, like in using a lot of products, I believe in using the effective and correct uh, products for your skin. So, and also besides the products, uh, there are other things that are good for your skin, like face massage or good diet. So I uh, kind of, for the past year, uh, decided to pay more attention to even that aspect of maintaining good skin, like uh, taking supplements or just, you know, walking a lot is good for your skin. And yeah, and face massage that I started doing. But that's kind of besides the point a little bit because I want to talk about my products right now. I'll start with the face washes and just go along with the products I'm using uh, on a daily basis. Now, um, I have three, four, no, three face washes like that I normally use. First, Four, actually it would be Mesla water in the evening I will take uh, off my makeup with Mesla water normally okay I have to say that I don't wear a foundation or have a makeup every day sometimes I actually don't wear anything at all except of my um, SPF I happen to wear a lot of makeup or like uh, more heavy SPF because this one is 35 but if I have I have like 50 then I will maybe go for a clinic, uh, take the day off facial uh, cleansing balm. You know, it's one of my favorites. And I will just do like a deep massage. So yeah, these are two. But normally I will use this. And then the second cleanse will be the CeraVe, a very gentle cleanse. It has hyaluronic acid here, some peptides like ceramides, like it's really perfect it doesn't irritate your skin I'm loving it very often it's also my morning wash normally I would say I don't wash in the morning my face I will just wipe my face with this thermal water normally I'll have Eurage or um, La Roche-Posay this is comes like it I use it for everything I use it as of a toner I use it as of a morning cleanse i wash off my facial mask with this water i mean it's like universal <laughs> for everything now sometimes in the morning if i let's say had some retinol or i use some strong ingredients let's say glycolic acid i would like to wash my face to make sure that the products from the previous uh, night is washed off because i don't like I prefer not to have like strong ingredients to linger on my face during the day because retinol actually can stay in on your skin up to like 24 hours or something. So I would like to wash it off to be sure that there's nothing on the surface. And then I would normally go for this either CeraVe, but I really like this the Body Shop Chamomile. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, kind of a cleansing butter, it's called. It's not even balm, it's milder than uh, balm. And I really like it. I have a small version because whatever they have in small jar, because the clinic also in small one, I prefer to buy it in small. So like this, I can uh, use it up without it being ex like, you know, the, the date will expire very often in the products. And I like to like, use it up and buy again so it's fresh new and so yeah this is a small one i'm loving it i'm buying it on and off for a couple years three years already loving this it's also very good for sensitive skin now these are my washes uh, i will go right away talk about the glycolic acid uh, 
facial pads this one that I knew for the brand is Florence by Mills I talked about it in my uh, haul of my previous video so if you want to know more about it you can check it out this is glycolic pads and I normally use it uh, once per week and I know you're supposed to use like acids like glycolic acid or lactic acid or retinol in the evening what I find about the glycolic acid pad specifically because you kind of have to wipe your face when I wash my face in the evening it gets a little bit sensitive it doesn't matter that I wash it with a mild um, uh, soap like uh, cleansing it's just it's still I feel a bit like uh, my face a bit like raw and I don't feel like wash like wipe my face with the glycolic acid pads also because they're kind of exfoliating as well you know they have like a bit of roughness on them so I would normally use it in the morning and it's also nice because then I can use my moisturizing facial mask like real moisturizing one and yeah and then I will definitely put SPF 50 so because my face will be more sun um, you know reactive to the sun so more sensitive to the sun so normally you would use it in the evening but i personally knowing my skin i use it in the morning because in the morning i feel like my skin is more rested more perceptive to any like kind of a uh, um exfoliating uh, ingredient uh, product saying that i also have uh, my favorite exfoliating where is it this is my favorite exfoliating powder it's also by the body shop chinese ginseng and rice uh, powder wash if you have oily skin you can even use it every day as your wash for me it's like a scrub i use it once per week it's very mild but i just love the feeling of the skin how it just looks and yeah it's my all-time favorite and i've been having it i've been using it also for couple years already and it's uh, vegan it's from the vegan line my body shop like it's really good one I love it and I also use it in the morning so yeah as of a toner I use this or I have two more toners um, this is by Lagona this is German bio brand it has some also lactic acid here a little bit and there's just plenty of different also um ingredients that is perfect a part of um uh rose hip oil or extract so it's fantastic and i just feel like spraying it on my face i am a rose water addict i think i have others as well but this is my go-to now and i have the Okay, I'll have another one. Actually, I'm testing it right now. I'm really liking it. This is by the Revolution. It's called Time Revolution by Misha. It's a Korean brand. I know you know this. Like Misha is really very uh, famous brand, and they have several toners, essences. It's not toner. It's essence. I love essence. I have the one that is has actually one ingredient here. Uh, it's the fermented Artemisia. Artemisia extract. I, ha I bought the small I bought the small version just to test it and try and see how it is it looks like this I'm loving it it's soothing essence it's and moisturizing I'm loving it I especially use it when I scrub my face or I put or let's say I put retinol and next day I would use this and actually I use it like this press it to my face and then I do a double take on it again so it's like really sinks into the skin I'm loving this one um, and now what else okay I have another toner that I use uh, locally if I have breakouts it has salicylic acid uh, organic mint and yeah this is also by this bio brand Lagona I'm loving this uh, toner a lot if you have oily skin or acne prone you can use it every day once per week once in a while I wipe all my face with it sometimes I use it as of a on a, I put it on a cotton and I use it as of a like out of mask cotton mask especially in this uh, on the places where I have breakouts I normally break out here 
if I break out, I break out here in the side. So I just press it and keep it for one minute and then, yeah. So everybody needs to have some kind of salicylic acid uh, toner, in my opinion. Okay, I'm just gonna finish with the breakouts. If I have a breakout or my skin is not feeling a bit on that side, I will go to my favorite, the Body Shop Tea Tree Night Mask and I just, yeah, put it all over my face or I just put it on this part of my face and I sleep in it and I normally use it several days in a row and then yeah and then the kind of like it kind of disappears magically <laughs> sort of yeah but I really I stick to it also like it's been my favorite for a couple of years now now when I take my makeup off I normally the eye area I take off uh, my makeup with the mm, eye makeup remover that is actually designed for eyes and it will be one of my favorite brands bio brands Katia. I also like their Mesla water and recently I found that they have by face uh, eye makeup remover so I also showed it in my makeup haul I'm loving it I like how it, it it's very efficient like it takes off my makeup eye makeup I don't use uh, waterproof mascara so I don't know how it works for that but uh, for my normal mascara it's perfect I hold a little bit and then I'll just wipe very gently because honestly I feel like you need a special uh, makeup remover for the eyes in my opinion because eye area is so gentle it's so sensitive that you need something more sensitive for it with ingredients that is good for your eye area and this one has a uh, cornflower and rose it's also good for the lips now going to the eyes uh, I know I kind of go randomly I use this uh, eye mask it has uh, fermented black tea and I use it uh, at least twice per day or uh, per, per week it's by the brand Cores. It's a bio brand. I really like it. I'm a fan of this brand. I've been for years. I've used their many products and I return. I'm just trying to like work with the light because my light is like really not good. Um, yeah, and it's a firming, instant firming a mask. It also kind of like the puffs uh, because it has also coffee in here and black tea fermented. So yeah. I use it a lot. I'm not sure. I really think this is the actual the packaging. This is the real one. They don't sell it in a bigger format. Uh, my f okay eye creams. Let's talk about eye creams since we're talking about eyes. I have two. I have no three. Yes. I have one by Yarak, it's actually empty, I have to repurchase again, this goes to my empties. Next video is going to be about my empties, because I have so many. Now this one uh, is like a gel one, it's a plumping effect and it has this uh, metallic uh, tip. I keep it in the refrigerator and in the morning I just press it and it's, it's just fantastic for me. It was in the refrigerator, so. And in the evening, I use uh, La roche posay uh, retinol eye cream. It's very gentle. You can use it every day. I use it every second night. Uh, this one, and yeah, it's fantastic. I've been using it, been using this cream for, I think for four, three years already. It's my go-to. Now, in the evening, did I finish with my morning routine? No. Okay, let's talk about serums. This is my all-round serum by Clarence Double Serum. It has uh, lipids uh, and it's like your all-round serum that just perfect. I believe it's my third or second time round using it. And I feel like I will, I will stick to it because I really like the way my skin looks with this one. And I feel like using this kind of a complex of the ingredients that it has in there has plenty anti-aging, plenty, many. So um, I, I feel like that's all I need and I don't need more. And it just kind of minimizes my skincare regime. So I use it in the morning, every day. 
and then I will use my um, SPF uh, and daily moisturizer by Elizabeth Arden, which is empty. Today I used the last time, I need to buy it. So I use this and that's that. Now in the evening I would use either this or I every second every second day I use this um, uh, retinol together with a hyaluronic acid uh, cellular boost by Neutrogena. Neutrogena. I discovered it recently, maybe a couple months ago, and I'm absolutely amazed by the result of this product. And because it comes in a cream version formula. It's not very aggressive and if you have a sensitive skin, it's going to be perfect for you. I really like it and it also has a hyaluronic acid here. So for me, it was one in two or two in one and it's perfect. If I have a product that has uh, two ingredients that I would normally use separately because they're good for your skin, I would normally go for a separate hyaluronic acid serum. But now I just use it in the evening and that's that. Also, I don't really stress about hyaluronic acid or peptides, you know, or how would you go? Oh, niacinamides uh, that is like very important for your skin, very good for your skin. Because I've been listening to Dr. Dre, she's like, um, it's very good, um, like skin doctor, how you call it, <laughs> dermatologist. And she said that if you have niacinamides in your creams or in your like serums that has other ingredients as well, that's enough. So, um, okay, just to finish with this, I use it like every second day and I'm loving it. And I normally, I don't put anything on top. Uh, I just use this because in the cream version and it's a hyaluronic acid here. So for me, it's enough moisturizing. Like it's my, for the evening, it's for me is enough. Uh, next day, I would probably go for my morning uh, facial facial mask, and that will be by Cores. Uh, I like this very much one that like I'm using all the time. Intense moisturizing and nourishing mask. It has a uh, babusu butter, so it looks like this. I'm loving it a lot. So yeah, this is one of my favorite masks at the moment. So yeah, to finish off in the evening, I would use. Um, this cream um if like for instance use this serum or sometimes i don't use anything i'm just using the essence because it's already very moisturizing and i would go just with the cream and my favorite cream for the evening is this it cosmetics confidence in a cream an absolute magic cream it has so many good ingredients non-cinamide hyaluronic acid peptides lipids i mean it also has a collagen booster, like, I don't even, like, I think it's one of the best uh, creams on the market. Um, it's very rich. It has a, a lighter version. As you know, I've been sent this cream by Eat Cosmetics, uh, so it was my first time trying it because I would probably never will get to it, I don't know why. And I just, there was a great discoverer in September, when did they send me September, October. Yeah, I've been, it's, it's such a big jar. I'm almost done with this, but yeah, uh, I'll be buying the lighter version so I can use it also in the morning. For me, in the morning, it's a bit too thick. If you have dry skin, it's f perfect for you. I would compare it with the SkinCeuticals. They are uh, three lipids kind of moisturizing cream, which is also very heavy and thick. And yeah, like this one of those creams. Now, uh, to finish off, okay, I use, these are my two other favorite masks. This is like by Clarence Sauce Comfort Mask, Nourishing Balm Mask. I would put it, for instance, if I use glycolic acid pads, then I will wash it off and I will use this, um, uh, facial mask on top or if I use this in the morning once per week as of a scrub I will use also will continue with this one and with this I will just pat it off a little bit and that's it I would I wouldn't like really wash it off 
now and this one of my favorites by Yarag, all time favorite it's plumping uh hydrating facial mask it has the rose essence here and uh, what else it has it's just plumping and oxygenated uh, yeah it's from the oxy uh, the oxygenated line beautiful beautiful product i use it all the time and when i use it in the day normally in the morning i would leave it as of my moisturizer and i'll leave it on the face it's really plumping one of those things that i use also after some peeling or if my skin feels sensitive or if i have breakouts i would use this uh, cbd booster uh, yes this is actually my third time buying it I'm loving it. You just need a tiny bit. You just press it and it's good for your skin. It's anti-redness, it's anti-inflammatory, it's anti like it's anti-acne. It's not very potent, but it's one of those boosters that you can actually put it in a cream, in your serum, wherever you need, or just like press it into your skin. It's like my pharmacy thing whatever my skin feels in discord i use this cbd oil it's like drug from hemp now i want to show you this pads that i wash my face with this is actually by uh, essence and they had the honey line where everything was honey actually i haven't shown i bought a couple things from that line one of them was a i'm a face palette yeah, very pretty. I forgot, I didn't show it to you because I bought it already like several months ago. So yeah, these ones, it comes, they have three of them. I took them out like this. One I'm using and they have three. I have two here. They're perfect. I'm washing my face. I take off my makeup with this. Wherever I have uh, or I wash my face with the cleansing balm, I take off my makeup with this. And it's so easy to wash. And it has like a honey kind of structure, shape, kind of a, like, you know, when you, somebody's like honey thing, bee thing. Yeah, it goes like this. Very handy, really loving it. Essence came up with this. And the last but not least, uh, I'm using two favorite uh, lip balms. One is by Cores. This is Jasmine uh, Butter. You know, I'm loving it. Like, it's almost done. I use it throughout the day under my lipsticks over my lipsticks it has a really nice like soft uh, peachy pink it doesn't really have a color but it has just like a hint of it I use it very often on my matte lipsticks just to give a bit moisture boost and in the evening I always use the Sika Plast um, La Roche Posay uh, lip cream it's soothing it's healing and in this environment when it's like cold or in the house it's hot because of the well not hot but the heaters always kind of makes your skin a bit on a drier side i find it very effective and yeah it um, has lipids uh, panthenol five percent repair barrier repair a lip balm so here it is that's it Th that's my minimal skincare regime i know it's kind of like a lot of products but obviously i don't use it all at once i just kind of like make accumulation of in which particular uh, moment whatever my skin is in need of something i use this product or another so thank you, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.